Hello, this is Mariam Dawood, and this is the demo for predicting responsiveness in multiple sclerosis patients using a smartphone application. This demo is going to be divided into two sections. The first section is the data analysis, and the second section is prediction. So quickly looking at the data to be able to understand the analysis and the prediction, we have around 2,500 users with a wide range of age, gender, location, weight, height, and uh, whether they have multiple sclerosis or not, and a series of activities taken from the users by a mobile application. Our main focus in this project is going to be symbol matching to cover cognition, U-turns to, to cover movement, pinching and drawing to cover dexterity. So looking at the analysis of the data before we go on with prediction, the first thing we're going to um, analyze with respect to is gender. As you can see here, these are the number of females versus males in our data set, the number of people who have MS versus those who don't in our data set. And this is a graph of uh, both of them together. So as you can see, we have more females uh, contributing to this project or to this data set than males, but the percentage of males that contributed to this data set have uh, a bigger percentage have uh, multiple sclerosis than the percentage of females with multiple sclerosis in total. The second thing we're going to analyze with respect to is their birth year. Um, and as you can see, these are the rates of birth whether they have MS or not, as previously mentioned. And as you can see here, the uh, highest rates of MS range between people who are uh, between 20 and 30 years old. And according to um, statistics, this does make sense. So usually you get diagnosed or you get MS between your 20s and your 30s going on. Finally, we're going to predict based, uh, we're going to analyze based on uh, country of origin. The most of the participants have come from the US and a little bit less than half of them um, ha are healthy. More than half of them have MS and the others are fixated towards uh, countries in Europe and Australia. And according to statistics, most people who have MS are from the Northern Americas and Northern Europe. So again, the data does make sense with respect to um, actual data or actual statistics around the world. And if we look at the uh, prediction, so we're going to predict each activity individually for each user individually. And these are our results for drawing a shape. The range of values are from zero to two and the average delta error is 0 0.05, which given the range is uh, not a bad uh, value or average. Uh, this is a sample from the data with a delta y of 0 0.159. As you can see here, we have the average score from zero to two, the dates, the uh, 14 days of training and the seven days of prediction. The points are points attained from the data set itself. So these are the training points and these are the testing points. And the line is our prediction. This graph shows it in a better way. Again, we have our average scores from zero to two and our seven days of prediction. The orange line is the predicted and the blue line is the actual um, value of the data, you can see that it looks, it not just looks good, but what we care about is the slope. Is it going up or going down? So the slope is kind of matching with the actual data, and this is what we care about most. This is another more accurate sample of the data, and this is a, uh, the best value attained from training the data set based on drawing a shape. The next activity is IPS, which is information processing speed. We have 44 users. Our range of values this time is from zero to 100 and our average delta error, which is a bit high is 19.20. This is a sample of the data. Kindly note that we've trained the data. Uh, we've trained the users individually. So each user is looked at separately by the model. Again, these are our training data, our testing data, and the lines here are the prediction, as you can see here, the prediction is pretty close given the 
huge range uh, compared to the previous activity. This is another value which is a bit higher, but again, if we look at the slopes, they're decreasing together and then increasing together and decreasing together again. Our third activity is the number of turns. We have almost the same number of users. Our range of values are from zero to eight turns. Our average delta error given the range is 0.28, which is again, looks a bit similar to the uh, rate gotten from drawing a shape with respect to the range. This is a sample of uh, what the prediction looks like. This is another example. And finally, we have uh, the pinching activity where the user pinches tomatoes on the screen. Our range of values are from zero to 100 successful pinches and our average error turned out to be 16.42 which is again similar to the number of turns, uh, similar, sorry, to the IPS, a bit high, but looking at the data, um, the prediction is quite accurate to the actual data. This is an example. And to be able to visualize what this all means, so basically what we're trying to do is on the floodlight application, we want to see a curve. So these are all the past, um, scores of a specific activity, for example, the U-turn activity, we want to see a curve, a line drawn, whether going down or up, just as the one shown here. Thank you.